The winter weather rolling in just in time for the third snow survey of the season. Here's CBS 13's Rachel Wolf. Uh, this location at Phillips uh, represents just one out of the 260 snow courses that we measure as part of the California Cooperative Snow Surveys program. DWR has been the lead of this program since 1929 when it was first established. A crew with the Department of Water Resources measuring the snow in this meadow at Phillips Station for their March 1st survey, recording a depth of almost four feet and a snow water content of 18 inches. That's about a foot and a half. If you took 48 inches, melted it down, that's essentially 18 inches of liquid water that we're standing on. Andy Rising is a water resources engineer in the Snow Surveys and Water Supply Forecasting Unit. He says we're nearly 80 percent of average to date and 74 percent of where we need to be April 1st, typically the time when we peak. A string of recent storms helped boost snowpack totals. Back on January 1st, we were about three inches of snow water content. On February 1st, 10 inches of snow water content. And now we're at 18. A late start due to warmer storms earlier in the season that helped boost precipitation levels statewide to just above 100%, but not snowpack. This lack of snow can ultimately impact how much runoff continues to help fill our reservoirs, especially during the spring and summer months when water supply demand is at its highest. And that means the next month is critical. It'll take several additional cold storms to put us where we need to be heading into summer months. The good news, this storm rolling in is going to be the biggest of the year and a cold one. And it will be a good snow producer. So it will be producing snow both at low elevations and high elevations. Um, and so we're, we're quite pleased to, to announce that that's coming and that will help get us towards average, maybe above average for this date.